Hello boys, this is Coach Andy Traitley, and we're going to review a new offensive play for box lacrosse. Uh, I call this screen down play. It involves a wing switch on the perimeter passing, but wing switches on perimeter passing is something we want to do all the time. So let's go over that first. Uh, the ball is orange, and it's here with player four. So uh, the reference system that I like to use is um, one, two, and three across the uh, restraining line. We call uh, this the left corner, player one. Player three is at the right corner. Player two I just call top center. This is the left wing and this is the right wing. Uh, and so we are in a 3-2 formation right now, three across the top and two down along goal line extended. Now when the pass comes up from player four to player three, we want to make sure that we're following proper perimeter passing techniques. So player three might have to push in and then pop out in order to catch that pass safely. Same thing to player two. Player two is going to get the ball next. Player two might need to push in, pop out wide to get a safe pass from three. Now every time, this is where the swing, the wing switch comes into play. Every time a pass is made from the corner to the top center, I want a double wing switch. And here's what that looks like. So... Player th the top corners are going to cut in to an inside position, and then they're going to pop out and replace on the low wings. The low wings are going to do the opposite. They're going to come to the same point, but on the outside uh, towards the boards, and then they're going to replace to the top corner, like this. So again, player three... Player three is going to cut down in here. Player four is going to meet. They should meet here. These are not picks. It's just constant movement. Player four comes up and replaces three at the corner. Three replaces four on the wing. Opposite over here. Player one cuts down and in. At the same time, player five cuts down or cuts up and in. Player five continues out to the corner. Player one replaces down on the wing. Remember, that should happen every time the ball is passed from a corner to the top center. And it should happen quickly, and it should happen while the ball is in the air. So we're going to do it again. So let's say player four has the ball. While the ball is in the air, heading towards player two, four is going to cut down and in. Three is going to meet there and pop out. Four is going to replace on the wing. Five cuts down and in. One cuts up and in. They meet in the middle. One continues out to the corner. Five replaces at the wing. And then player two has the ball. So that is the double wing switch. Now I'm going to erase these arrows and we're going to talk about the actual play. Now the play is a simple screen down and the way it works is the corners uh, we're going to show going to the uh, to the right uh, or I'm sorry uh, to the left here uh, towards player one and player five but what's going to happen is the ball side corner is going to set a screen and the ball side wing is going to end up with the ball and come up over the screen and look for a shot. On the opposite side we're going to have a double pick from the corner and the top center and player four is going to pop up and over that pick. So here's the way it looks. So including the double wing switch while the ball is in the air from player three to two. So the ball is halfway there. We're going to do our double wing switch. Three is cutting in. Four is meeting three here, but staying on the outside. Four pops out and replaces. Three replaces four at the wing. One cuts in. Five comes up and meets. Uh, staying on the outside. Replaces at the corner. One replaces at the wing. Now the ball has got to player two. Player two is going to immediately pass over to player five. Player five is going to immediately pass down. Oh no, let's hold here. While the ball is in the air, from player two to five, that is when we want player two to start heading down to set this pick. And we want player four coming over to set a double pick. Now the ball has arrived 
with player 5. At that point, player 2 is down here on a double pick with player 4. Player 5 immediately catches and passes down to player 1. While the ball is in the air between 5 and 1, player 5 comes in and sets a screen. Now, a screen is not a pick. We've gone over that in practice, and we'll continue to review that, but it is a screen. Ball is caught by player 1. Player 1 is then going to carry. Well, let's show player 5 has come down and set the screen. Player 1 is going to drive up over the screen and look for a shot. So with the ball, player 1 is going to carry up over player 5. Now, as soon as player 1 gets past player 5, if the shot is open, we want to take that shot. In the meantime, while player 1 is carrying the ball up over, player 3 is going to cut up over this double pick. And if, when player 3 is right here, if player 1 gets up over the screen and the shot is not open, player 1 should then look to make a pass across to player 3 at which point player three may get a shot coming off of the double pick. Now, if neither of those are there, then the smart thing to do is say the pass came across to player three and there's nothing there. Player three should pull out, come back up to top center, at which point everyone else gets back into position. It doesn't matter who goes where. Just get to the nearest spot, so we're back into our 3-2 position. And then we start back over. So without showing the arrows, I'll go through the play again. Now player three has the ball. Let's say player three passes over to player four. Player four passes right back to player three. Now while the ball is in the air, what do we do? Double switch. Four and two. Run a wing switch. One and five. Run a wing switch. Now three has caught the ball. Let's say three passes right back to two. Now we're running our play. So three goes over and sets a double pick with five opposite side of the ball. Two passes immediately down to one and sets a screen. Four carries up over that screen. And while four is doing that, one is coming up over this double pick. Four is either looking for this shot or a pass across to one who then takes a shot. Or, if none of those things are there, it is okay for four to pull the ball back out. And again, everyone has to reset. So let's say two comes up here. One is going to go over there. Three comes up to the corner. Five goes down to the wing. Now we're back in formation, and we run it all over again. So what we're doing is uh, we're going to add one more step off of the double pick on our offense. So let's say the ball is with player four, passes up to player three. Player three passes to player two. Remember... While the ball is in the air, we always execute a double wing switch. So three and four are going to switch on the right side. One and five are going to switch on the left side. Ball arrives with player two. Now let's say player two chooses to put the ball onto the left side of the field. So while the ball is in the air towards player five, player two... Remember, it's going to come down and set a pick here. Player four is going to come over and set a double pick. Player three is going to hold there, but eventually he's going to cut up over the double pick. Player five is going to catch the ball, pass it down to player one. They're going to come set a screen. Player one is going to catch the ball, drive over the screen, and look for the shot. So that is a quick review of the play. Let's erase all those lines, and we'll show what it looks like without the lines. So the, again, the ball was in the air from player two to five. Therefore, player two comes down and sets a double screen or a double pick off ball. Ball arrives at player five. Player five immediately passes down to player one. Player five sets that screen. Player one carries the ball up over the screen. While player one is doing that, player three is cutting up over the double pick. Player one's first look is a shot. Player 1's second look is a feed over to player 3 coming over the double pick. 
And now we're going to add one more step, which is that the low man on the double pick should peel off and go to the near side pipe. So that's the same side of the field where the pick was set. So as player three is coming over the pick, the moment player three clears the pick, player two peels off and cuts down to that near side pipe. Player three continues to come up over the pick. And last, player four should roll off that pick and come up high. And there's two reasons for that. One, if the shot, the feed to player three, and the feed to player two are not available, if none of those three are available, this gives player one an outlet pass option up to player five. Second reason, and arguably the most important, is because by having player four roll up high, we've now protected our top side of the offense so that if by chance there's a turnover of the ball, there's a ground ball, we're fighting for it, and the other team gets possession of that ball, we'll make them purple, the other team gets possession of that ball, well, we don't want them to be able to run up field on a fast break. So player four peels up here, floats across into the center of the field, making sure that we don't give up any fast breaks. So let's go through the whole thing one more time. We'll erase those lines. I'll put that restraining line back in place. Oh, it was not meant to be purple. Put that restraining line back in place, give ourselves some solid boards on the sides, and reposition our players, and then away we'll go. So this time, let's say that the ball starts with player 5 over here. Player 5 is passed up to player 1. Player 1 passes across to 2. While that ball is in the air, we execute a double wing switch on both sides. Ball arrives at player two. Let's say player two puts it into the right side now while the ball is in the air. Player two sets the off ball double pick with player five. Ball arrives with four. Four passes down to three. Four comes in and sets the screen. One comes up over the pick while three Comes up over the screen. That screen's a little too far in. We want that screen further out. Three comes up over the screen with the ball, looking for the shot. One peels off to the near side pipe. Five pops up high to protect our back. Three has several options. Shot, option number one. Feed across to number player one is option number two. Option number three is a feed down to player number two. And options four and five are either an outlet pass out to player five if need be, or carry the ball back up to safety and reset the play if nothing was there. Thanks again for watching, boys, and I can't wait to see you implement this play throughout the fall season. Go Raptors!